Rocky. That's right. So we're back with another word. And this one I saw, hold things with loose hands. As I'm packing and shredding papers, I find myself attached to certain memories of these things, like my refrigerator. That refrigerator I bought when I first bought my house. And I still have it from back in 1999. It is, what, 2018. And I still have that fridge and I only had to fix it once. And that was probably about, I'm gonna say about five years ago. So, uh, do they still last that long now? I don't even know. But how amazing is that, right? And I'm thinking, well, I need to sell that fridge or give it away something. I can't take it. But yet I find myself feeling like, oh, well, I can't believe it. And then as I'm going through papers, you know, I go through papers, I'm like, I get mad about that memory. And then I see another memory, I'm like, oh my gosh, I wish I could hold on to these papers. But I have to let the papers go. And one thing it helped me to realize, wow, how attached to things we become. It's too much to transport them cross country anyway. So I opened this book and came upon this. Hold things with loose hands, but cling tightly and always to my hand. That's God's hand. To be spiritually healthy, you must not be overly attached to your possessions. These are all blessings from me to receive them with thankfulness. But don't forget that ultimately I am the owner of everything. It's also important to hold people with open hands. Cherish your family and friends, yet beware of making them idols. If your life revolves around someone other than me, you need to repent, changing your ways. Return to me, beloved. Make me your first love, seeking to please me above all else. That is so true. Thank you, Lord. Another thing to hold loosely is control over your circumstances. When your life is flowing smoothly, it's easy to feel as if you're in control. Enjoy these peaceful times, but don't cling to them or think they are the norm. Instead, cling tightly to my hand in good times, in hard times, at all times. Good times are better and hardship is more bearable when you're trustingly depending on me. My abiding presence is your portion forever. That is so good. Thank you, Lord. When I read these, I really, I really want my heart and my mind to take it in. And I really want to speak these things. I hope that helps you. Here are the reference scriptures. Colossians 2.6 Revelation 2, 4 through 5, and Psalm 73, 23 through 26. I hope you read those. I hope you read them, and I hope that you are open and ready to receive it so it will permeate your mind. You'll get it in your mouth, and you'll get it in your heart. Same, I pray for myself. <laughs> so, I hope this has helped you. Thank you for tuning in. Sayonara.